Let's paint. I forgot that now I gotta pack. I gotta clean them up now. <laughs> Are they fragile? I don't think they're fragile. Alright, now let's paint. I'm gonna make a Bob Ross masterpiece without looking at Bob Ross, but only listening, and I don't know if it's gonna turn out good or bad because I'm a so let's go. <gasps> Bob, do you actually talk at any point? Hello, I'm Bob Ross, and I'd like to welcome Backstop. you to the 29th Joy of Painting series. If this is your first time with us, allow it me is. to extend a personal invitation for you to get your brushes and, and your paints and paint along with us each show. Oh. We'll use about a dozen colors of some unorthodox brushes in each show. I'll show you how to put some of nature's masterpieces. Bob, you said you're using unorthodox brushes. I have only orthodox brushes. Is that a problem? Is this a normal brush? It's got a sponge on it. I just bought the cheapest uh, paint brushes I could find. I wasn't spending a lot of money. This already cost me like $30. And this is just the paints. I better use all of these, Bob. Is there no blue? Oh no, we have blue. We're good. I also bought a very cheap palette, but it's not gonna hold this many. I got like, one, two, three, four. I got 20 oils and um, six, seven spots for it. Oh, Bob, what masterpiece are we painting today? Let's get into it. Today we'll have run all the colors across the screen right there. I can't you see that. With Covered the entire canvas with a very thin coat of liquid white. I can do that. Liquid white is designed just to... Okay, uh, white. Does it have to be liquid white? Do I even have white? I have titanium white. It's not liquid white, it's titanium. I'm using that. We might have a bit of an issue. The biggest paintbrush I have is this one, I think is the biggest one. No. The biggest paintbrush I have is that. Uh, for scale, that's how big it is on the canvas. That's gonna take forever. It's already white. Do I have to do white on it? I'm not doing white. <coughs> oh, it doesn't smell good. Is it bad that my hand's already hurting and I've not even done the first step yet? That looks good, I think. Just don't look at it hard, I think, is the main takeaway. And you'll be fine. I've discovered my painting style is just putting my whole body into it. I thought today we'd just do a very simple little scene that I hope you'll enjoy. Cool, Let's simple. Let's start with a little two inch like brush it. and a touch of the lizard. Two inch brush? I'm Australian, what's an inch? Is that two inches? Oh wait, that's three and a quarter inch. They say it on there. I have a one inch. Best I can do is a three quarter inch. What am I doing? Crimson. And we just load a little bit right into the bristles. A little. Crimson, I heard. I have crimson! Who would have thought? I actually have crimson. Alright. Ah, it has a cover. Oh wait, there's tabs on them. Oh, that's so much easier. <laughs> Alright. Crimson, in. Hang on, let me get this, like, cool shot. Don't ruin my camera. Oh, ew, why was it liquidy? Oil, that's why they call them oil paints. That makes so much more sense. Okay. Alright, Bob, you said put it in the bristles. I can do that. Dab, dab, dab. Oh, oh no, oh no, not what I wanted, not at all. Oh, it is so red. Bob, what do I do? And let's go right up here. And we'll take this old brush. Right up I'm just making little X's, little crisscross strokes. We'll just very quickly drop in. Just... All right, Bob, I'm gonna need a bit more direction because just saying go up here doesn't help. I'm gonna guess because it's like a brown and he said go up here. It's not gonna be in the sky. So I'm gonna go midway there. I've drawn it, it needs to stay there, all right. Say what you want, that actually, I'm confident with that. Even on camera, that looks pretty good. I could do something cool with that. I'm not going to, because it's gonna be a terrible failure. But I could, if I wanted to. Maybe we'll have a little pink in the sky. I sort of like that. Oh no! In our world, we can do anything. <laughs> It was the sky. <laughs> Not anymore. Okay, apparently we were going up high. <laughs> I need water. All right, I got water. Bob, well, how do I clean the brush when it's not when the paint doesn't come off? I put it in water. Does it have to be hot water? Oil? Does it have to be oil? How did you do it? It'd be nice if I could see. In two, right in two, little phthalo blue. 
<laughs> I like Daylight Blue. It's a very... Daylight Blue. That is going to go in the sky. I can guarantee that. I thought it smelled better. It doesn't. <coughs> oh. It's so much easier when you lean back and really get into it. I have a bristle in my paint. Bob, what do I do if I get a bristle in my paint? Oh, I got it. Never mind. There's my sky. Was it meant to look like that? Got no clue. Hang on, let me do some X's. Next step. Again, Bob, I'm having the same issue where... Paint doesn't want to come off the brush. Uh, blend, you say? <clears throat> How? Oh, I definitely was not meant to do this with a wet paint brush. Bob, should I be waiting for you to tell me how I'm meant to do this? Probably. Am I going to? Yep. In this little pink area, it'll just eat it up. So be careful. Be careful. Oh, go away. If you want to make. Bob, I gotta be honest. I seem to keep pausing you before you get to the important things. Am I gonna learn my lesson? Probably not. Am I proud of how this looks? Not anymore, I was, and then I played you again, you said to do crisscross. Let's have some water in this painting. I love water, and it's very easy to paint in this style. How do I blend? Still okay, I wasn't listening. What are we doing? We're adding water. Where? Down here? Probably, that's where water goes. What's this? What's this then? Was I meant to put that up there? I've done this the wrong way around. Wait! <gasps> No, it's still that. I did it in the middle. I've just ruined it. Wait! Bob, I've done the water. So, any painters watching this, it's probably like really paintful. Haha. <laughs> um. I want to darken the corners a little bit. I'm going to take a little Prussian blue and just add in the corners here and there. There's corners? What do you mean there's corners? Alright, I'm going to guess you want dark there and there in those corners and like blend it. So that's what I'm gonna do. But if it's wrong, well, I guess that just makes for good content, doesn't it? Oh, that is absolutely not what he wanted. What I'm finding out now is that he really wanted the water to like fill the whole bottom. I'm imagining, just judging from how this looks. Actually, I'll be honest, that's not bad. When you really like take a step back and look at it from a really far way away, and you close your eyes. It looks pretty good. Since these are oil paints, we're washing our brushes with odorless paint thinner. Oh! Excess. That makes so much more sense why that's not um, working. I don't have paint thinner. And just beat the devil out of it. That's really the most fun part of it. Of this? All right. Hey, it blended it pretty well, though. Look at that. You're right, Bob. That is the most fun part. Bob, what now? We're just gonna do that. All water. And really just pray. Pray that that's what God intended. We are gonna go for a bigger paintbrush though. Because Bob was using two inch. And because I've always been told size doesn't matter, I thought that I could use a three quarter inch. And it wasn't right. I was lied to until it looks like that. Let's take the corner of the brush and just pull down. Straight down, straight down. I'll make it look like little distant trees live far back in the distance. Oh, okay. A little more color. Like mist. You could even take ah! another two inch brush. And I have several. It'll help create that illusion of mist right down at the bottom. And sometimes, oh, sometimes down it's a lot of fun. Oops. Sweet. Next step. God. I'm tap this. an artist. I want to create mist again. Notice this separation. It's caused because of the dip. How do I make mist? What do you mean, mist? Okay, let me wipe the old knife off. And let's get this. Bob, what do you mean? Family. I'm sorry, I just realized you were talking. Where am I putting this stuff? Where? This? No. Up here? No. All right, maybe it's the ground, because you said green. Sweet. That actually looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. Everything was going well till the trees came in, is all I'm saying. How do I, uh, like, Leaves, I guess. He said a fan brush, and I mean, not to toot my own horn or anything, but I don't have fans. Um, I'm gonna use this thingy. It's very small. Not that it matters. Oh my god. I have trees. I have a goddamn tree! Yes. Not kicking it anymore, because I'm actually very happy with this. Okay, more trees. Let's go. 
Okay, from up close, the tree, I was really confident with the trees, and then I, like, took a step back, and I hate them so much. The ones over here look pretty good. The ones on the other side, terrible. It needs green. Trees are green. Why didn't I put, like, a dark green in? So you can give all these things names, personalities, shoot, it's okay. Did you say give them all names? Sweet, I've got five trees, let's name them. On the far end, we've got Jimmy. This is Jimmy. Um... Next, we've got Brandon, sure. Um, next up, this third one is uh, Matthew, sure. Then we've got the tall one. We're going to call him, we're going to call him JP after someone I know that was tall. Um, and then the cute little one that's hiding is going to be, um, let's call him Elijah for obvious reasons. And with the other side, I'm gonna, I got some light brown I made earlier, a black in it. Bob, you can't just spring that on me that you made a color earlier. Bob, you should have prepared me for this. Here's my painting, and let's have a look at the actual... What, what is that? I'm sorry, I haven't even seen the whole thing. I, From what I can see, it's just like zoomed in. But already, it looks so much better that's not the same painting that is not the same painting here's a side by side i'm gonna put it over me here wow well i mean we all know there's only one thing to do from here